Welcome, Lavanya. Uh, welcome to head office. You are the fifth generation of the Nalli group. Um, so I'm going to ask you a few questions about being gen next. Um, first of all, what is what do you consider to be your single biggest contribution to the Nalli group, to the business? I think what I've brought in and I've been lucky to be given this platform um, is having worked outside in different environments, McKinsey, Mintra, Harvard Business in the US. I've been able to bring in a very different way of looking at the same problems. And I think the business and the conversation, the strategic conversations have enriched because of that. So do you think it's important for all business inheritors to work outside the family business? Yes, I would say 100% if you're able to do it. If you're able to do it, the family is not putting pressure on you. You don't have a financial need to be in the business, no matter how much emotional pressure there is, try to get out of it. Like the first years in your 20s, when you're young and you can afford to do a few different things, I think it only broadens your horizon um, in a way before other responsibilities set in. And it really does, um, it gives you a well-rounded personality as well and a well-rounded thought leadership. Okay, great. So in one of your interviews, you mentioned that the average age of the senior leadership is 25 years. So how do you keep, how do you know? What average tenure, yes. Average tenure, sorry, I'm sorry. Average tenure um, of the senior leadership is 25 years. How do you know what to keep in this situation and what to change? One thing that you would keep and one thing that you would change. I think what I would, um, with regard to the senior leadership, Oh, no, in generally in the business, because the people in have been in so long. Yes. So in generally in the business, I think what works, I would continue to keep it. So the core values haven't changed in decades. Trust, quality, value for money. Um, even though every now and then we keep talking about these other new business ideas that come up, which is always going to force us to increase the margin to be able to play out those initiatives. I choose not to take that because I want to keep the values and I want to keep the value for money and the quality aspect sacrosanct. Um, what I would change, I think, is this notion that we are a sari brand and a sari brand only, or we are only for wedding saris, or we are only an offline sari brand. I think that I would change. Formats have to change. Your way of reaching the consumer have to change. If your consumer is changing, then, you know, as a business, you have to change with it. Okay. Now you are the first woman in 90 years to work in the family business. Give me three words to describe your experience. Um, okay. Volatile, um, very interesting, <laughs> and at times frustrating. Okay. And who has been your biggest ally in the business to make the experience less frustrating? Um, my biggest ally and also sometimes enemy, I think, has been my father because he's, he's, he's a tough father and a tough boss because on the one hand, he's very encouraging and he'll always push me and he has a very direct way of pushing me um, to say, you know, you shouldn't even be coming to me and asking all of these things. If you have such doubts, then how can you even, you know, do something? So he'll kind of go off on that torrent. But, I, but that also pushes me a little bit. Right. And I think somewhere he understands that I have that competitive streak where if he says you can't do it, how can you even come to me? This is silly. I will go ahead and do it just to prove otherwise. And so he's been, like I said, a little bit of an enemy, but mainly an ally. OK, that's very interesting. Thank you, Lavani, for sharing so much with us. And we look forward to visiting Nali stores across the country. Thank you.